Hello, my friends. Are we ready to take it slow? So welcome to the practice video where I am going to show you in real time how I do the practice exercises in R. And I'm actually gonna slow down a bit, which is unlike me. So I hope we're excited to get back into it. Woo, woo. Time to get a move on, people. Here we go. We're here. Look at my lovely R screen. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Woo. Ah. All right. So as a reminder, in the D plier practice video, uh, I talked about uh, taking the mindfulness data set, filter to those over 18, create a sum score for mindfulness and stress and depression, and then select only age and the total score columns, then summarize by group. So I'm going to do this live, which means if I mess up, you're going to know about it. So I will go D equals read dot CSV. And then I will go data forward slash mindfulness. Uh, I think that'll work. No, it will not. So look at that. I already made a mistake. Oh, mindfulness. I thought I was forgetting something. Does that work? No, it does not. So I'm going to try to figure out why that is. I am in my project folder and I'm looking within <laughs> mindfulness.ness. Yeah, that's not a data set. Mindfulness.csv. There we go. And then if I go head D. We've got our items, mind one through five, stress one through five or six, etc. So we read that in all right. So we're on a roll now. We're halfway there. So that is the mindfulness data set. Uh, then we want to filter to those over 18. Actually, one thing that I have started doing recently, I think I mentioned in another video that I saw somebody do this on Twitter or say you should do this on Twitter. And I was like, wow, that's a good idea. But uh, to create a data set when you first read it in called original. And so then I'm going to do some data manipulations. Like let's say I go D equals filter, blah, 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 whatever. Um, if something funky happens later, I could always say, huh, what is my original data set? What does my new data set look like? And then figure out maybe where the problem goes wrong. And maybe we'll have that kind of error today and we'll be able to figure that out. Okay, so we're going to first filter to those over 18. So that's an easy thing. We're gonna use the filter. Oh, but we forgot something, didn't we? We're going to require tidyverse. Otherwise, it is not going to recognize filter. And I see, one thing I see a lot of my students do is they write the code and then say, something's not working, why is it not working? So maybe, um, they did something like this where they read it in as mindful and then they'll go D equals mindful and then pipe and then filter. Let's see, what was it? Age greater than 18. So if they do that, they say, what? Mindful not found, what's the problem? And the problem is that they wrote the code but they didn't read it in. So when you write the code, you also have to read it in. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So uh, I'm gonna read in tidyverse, gonna read in, I'm gonna change that back to D underscore original. And then I will take that value, D underscore original, and place it there. So I'm gonna do these each on one line just so it's a little more clear what I'm doing. So here I'm reading in my original data set, then I'm gonna create a new data set that is called D, which is going to be equal to my original data set, and then I'm going to filter such that age is greater than 18. Now, and I lost my train of thought. I can't remember what I was just saying. Uh, but if I do that, uh, I should get a data set that no longer has people who are 18 years or older. And I mean, in the first six rows, we don't have any. So I assume that's okay. I was totally going to say something. And I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, well. All right, so we have done the first part. We have filter, oh. Oh, that's right. I was gonna say that uh, there are two ways of doing this without the pipe. One is to say filter D, 
and then age greater than 18. Actually, in this case, that would be D underscore original. So assuming I hadn't run line 18, if I had just done that, I could do that. Or I could use the pipe statement. And I'm gonna use the pipe statement because I'm gonna put a lot of things together. Uh, so I have done the first one, I've taken the original data set, and then I filtered so that I'm only looking at those individuals who are older than 18. Then I'll put another pipe, and then it says, this is where it gets a little tricky, create a sum score for mindfulness slash stress slash depression. So let's see, what's the best way to do this? Well, it's gonna be a mutate statement for sure. So I can do mindful underscore total. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm gonna say that is equal to, and then probably the easiest way, but not the most concise way, is just to do pluses. So I can go mind one plus mind two plus mind three plus mind four plus mind five. And if I just run that code and then look at the top of it, so mindfulness total, it looks like it's working. So that's good. So that creates the mindfulness sum score. And then anytime you want to do multiple mutates within the same mutate statement, you just do a comma and put the next one in. I'm gonna do it on a separate line just because it's easier for me to visualize what's going on. So that's mindful total, and then I'll go stress underscore total is equal to, and I'm gonna do a different approach this time. This one's a little more complicated. Uh, in the next video in this sequence, you're gonna see a different way of doing this, and this is kind of a hint of that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go row sums of, uh, I'll, I'll just write the code first, and then I'll tell you what it means, dot, uh, let's see, actually, I think it's select dot, and then um, let's see, contains DEP. I think that'll work. Oh, look at that. I remembered off the top of my head. All right, now let me explain what's going on. So let's just look at what row sums does. Uh, let's just say I've got a data set called D equals data dot frame A, uh, equals one through five, B equals six through 10. And so if I, well, I don't even have to do head anymore because I don't have that much data there. So if I do row sums of D, it'll just add up the columns. I'm sorry, the rows. That's why it's called row sums. So six plus one is seven, seven plus two is nine, etc. And so what I want to do is I want to do that within, um, but only for certain columns, only the ones that meet a condition. And so I've also talked about how I could use the select statement to narrow it down. And so remember, if I were to go D pipe select uh, contains DEP, and then I'll just put a head at the end of that just so we could see the first couple of rows. Oh, that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Uh, head D contains DEP, DEP, that should work. And it does. So you remember in my error video, I said one of the first things to do is to start fresh. And that's what I did. I just created D again. I kind of jumped ahead. I didn't follow the steps in order. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't, but uh, I figured that was my best guess that D hadn't really been created yet or hadn't been created right or whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, if I were to do that select within there, it shows me just the DEPs, uh, one through seven in this case. And so basically I'm combining a row sums with that. In fact, I could do that even here. Um, actually, would this work? Row sums. Yes, it would work. How about that? So I think I know a better way of writing this because this dot is confusing. There's, it needs to be there, but I don't want to confuse you. So let's see, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are going to say, actually, I don't think that'll work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, scratch what I just said. 
the idea that I was going to present is not going to work. But uh, so anyway, we're going to so that's the same idea that we're doing here, um, except we got to write it a little bit differently just because we're in a mutate statement. So what we're going to do is stress total equals row sums, and then we are telling it what data set to sum the rows over. And within that, we're going to create a new data set, basically. And so when you put a dot, that is telling uh, dplyr, it's telling r to reference the data set as it was right here. So we took the original, then we filtered to those that are 18. And then at that point, that's the data set that we're now putting into here. So a dot is a way to reference the entire data set that you are um, piping in. So um, hopefully that doesn't throw you off too much. So basically what we're saying, again, take create a new variable called stress total that is the row sums of the following. Selecting the data set that is piped in, uh, and returning only those rows that contain, or only those columns that contain the words DEP. And so once we do that all together, we now have our second one. So we got mindful total and stress total. And now we just got to create the last one. Oops, <laughs> I said stress total and then I took DEP. But that's okay, I can change that to stress. And then now I can highlight this entire line. And I realize I use a lot of shortcuts without telling you that I'm using shortcuts. So I'm gonna to try to call those out as I use them. So I've highlighted that line and hit Command C or Control C if you're on a PC, and then Control V or Command D to paste it. And then I'll go depression underscore total. And then I'm gonna change that to DEP. So if I run all that together, we get our new data set that just has mindful total, stress total, and depression total. Well, it doesn't just have that, it also has the other things. Um, although, that gives me an idea. Why don't we just get rid of the things that, if we're only gonna be working on the sum scores, why not just uh, get rid of the non-sum score stuff, the item level data? And so to do that, I'm gonna insert another pipe. And by the way, here's another shortcut. It is on a Mac, Command-Shift-M, on a PC, Control Shift M. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now select only the variables that I'm interested in. And so I'm going to do mindful underscore total. And again, why didn't I put the data set there? Because we are piping it through. And because we are not a function within a function like we are there, we don't have to put a dot or anything. We, It's just assumed at that point. So mindful total and then stress underscore total and then depression underscore total. And what else do we need? Because it says select only age and the total score columns. Oh, <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, look at that. I was already doing the next step thinking that I was going above and beyond, but no, I was just following the directions even though I didn't know it. So we selected those and it says select age um, and then summarize by group. What group? That's not very clear what I'm talking about. Um, I think I probably meant gender. So I'm gonna go ahead and put gender in there. And I'm gonna run that and then look at the top of that to make sure things are coming out. And by the way, that's a good strategy to use whenever you're doing dplyr is to run one section, get that working and then add another component, run that, make sure it works, and just do it piece by piece, just to make sure. Because if you get an error in there and your dplyr statements are like this big, then it's really hard to tell where the error comes from. So you just gotta build it up but little by little. Okay, so we got our three total scores, we've got our age score, and we've got our gender score. And now let's pretend we want to summarize by group or by gender. So I'm gonna add another pipe in there. And then I'm going to go group underscore by gender. So here I'm telling dplyr like, hey, what's up dplyr? I'm about to do something by group. So I need you to group it in advance. It's kind of telling dplyr that, hey, we're about to, it's, it's telling dplyr to remember something. And the thing that we're going to remember and we're gonna to need to remember that we're talking about gender as we get into the uh, summarize statement. So we're grouping by gender and then summarize. If you are not from America, you can use S and it will work the same. So 
to welcome my international friends, I'm going to use an S just for you. So summarize. And then what am I doing? Uh, summarize by group. Okay. So I'm going to say create variable name so that we use this very much like a mutate statement. So mindful underscore mean is equal to mean of mindful underscore total. And then I can do stress underscore mean is equal to mean of stress underscore total. And then I could do depression underscore oh, mean equals mean of stress, oh, not stress, but depression underscore total. And then why not age underscore mean is equal to mean of age underscore mean. Can you hear my kids playing the piano? Because I sure can. <laughs> it's distracting. Hopefully you can't. And hopefully it's not distracting to you like it is me. So uh, I have done all of that. And age mean not found. Oh, I know exactly what I did. Notice that I read the error message first. I ignored this part, at least for now. I said, all right, what's going on here? Object age underscore mean not found. And I looked up here, I did it all very fast, but I looked up here and I said age underscore mean equals mean age underscore mean. And do you see the problem? Age underscore mean doesn't exist at this point. I'm trying to create a new variable called age underscore mean. So I need to say age, actually nothing, just mean of age, because that's the variable name right here. So if I run that, no errors, yay! And then head. Uh, actually, I don't even need to run head. I can just run D because this is my summary. So this uh, so this gives us the genders and then the mean of mindfulness, the mean of stress, the mean of depression for each of the ages. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to give you a little preview about something that you're going to see shortly, and that is uh, called the across statement. So it's a little tedious to be able to define every variable that we want an average for. So instead, it might be better to do something called across. Let's see if I can remember how to do this off the top of my head. By the way, the dplyr stuff is kind of new to me. So not all these are intuitive quite yet. And so anyway, I'm going to use the across statement. And I'll just do, uh, let's see, what order are they in? I'm going to just do my shortcut, mindful underscore total colon and then age. And so what that's going to do is it's going to take uh, all the columns from mindful total through age, which is going to be the first four, excluding gender, because we don't need that. Uh, oh, let's see. Do I know how to use this? Um, oh, that's right. And then out here, you got to say the function. I'm going to say mean. I think that's how you do it. We're going to find out real quick, aren't we? I remembered. Woo! Ah ha 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 ha! Yeah, I'm actually really proud of myself because I just learned about a cross like two weeks ago, and it seems I've already committed it to memory. Look at that! So, uh, yeah, that's another way of doing it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just so you're not overwhelmed, I'm gonna stick with that for now. Oops, those needed to be in the. Oh well, I'll just leave it as is. Where did that go? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's already there. Um, and I'll just go ahead and comment that out. So um, that's how we do it. This is how we do it. Tidyverse like nobody's business. So yeah, uh, hopefully that helps with me taking a little slower and hopefully you get it. Anyway, let me know if there's any questions. Peace out.